Ladies and gentlemen, this just in, this just in. We're gonna talk about this right now. We just put a house on the market two days ago. It's completely booked, pretty much, right? But I got people calling me right now, being like, look, I'm trying to get in this house. I I've been trying to call my agent back and they're not answering the phone. Or the agent's calling me and being like, oh, I I'm, I'm trying to get this buyer in the house. So I'm like, where'd you get the buyer from? Why didn't you call me two days ago? Oh, I got him off Zillow. Time out. We're talking about this right now, buyers, because this is extremely important. If you are a buyer and you're looking to purchase a house, number one, so let's say it's 123 First Avenue, this house, if you're on a search criteria set up by an agent who does this nonstop, full time, they're going to put in your parameters, what you're wanting, price point, the whole nine. And then what's going to happen is the second a listing agent like me submits it into MLS, it automatically emails it to you if they set it up as an ASAP, right? So then you as the buyer are going to get alerted right away. And then you're going to call your agent and say, we need to get in this house right away because you're going to have your pre-approval, right? Because I talk about it all the time and you're going to set it up right away. You're not going to waste time, okay? So it's on you, the buyer, to make sure that you're set up with a search criteria and you're working with someone who does this non-stop. The agent, if you know your buyer, you should be set up on a search criteria as well so it alerts you and you can go, hey, I got the house for you, just came on the market. This, number two, is the reason why you buyers are not getting the house you want. You're going into Zillow, and instead of contacting me, the listing agent, you're just contacting agent, and your information's getting sold off to another agent. And now that agent's gonna call you, and now you'll set it up, and I tell you, it happens all the time, they call me days later or something, and then it's already on the contract. Because when you contact Zillow, you're not contacting me. So. The search criteria is like you're working with an agent, right? And if you don't have an agent, find a great agent. You have so many good agents, great agents, amazing agents out there, right? Bill Glasner, Marissa, me, that you can contact and say, look, I'm looking to buy a house. I'd rather have this organized. I'd rather have this uh, perfectly set up so we can you know, get this done the right way, get it done fast so I don't miss out on the house. If you do it this way, you're gonna lose out on houses, I'm telling you, unless you contact the agent themselves. So this is, this is a two-way street. You as the buyer, it's your responsibility to be on top of things and the agent as well. When you go through Zillow, just kiss that house goodbye because it's not going to the agent. It's just going to some agent that paid to get your information. And God knows this happens all the time. And I keep getting phone calls. Literally, I stopped to do this video because I got like 60 phone calls today. I need to get in this house. I can't get in touch with my agent. I tried calling my agent. I blah, 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 blah. I went to Zillow. Da, 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 da. You know who got in the house? The agents that are on top of their game and the buyers that are on top of their game. So stop using Zillow. Set yourself up with a good agent. Get on the search criteria. Get your house. Get your pre approval first. And for me, for more of your education and da, 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 upcoming news and important news. I'll talk to you soon.